Wait, 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 why are you, why are you doing this? Because it's wrong. Wrong? What the? I'm, I'm crazy about Don't you. Don't say that. Say it, I'll scream it. I love you, Macy. I love you. I can scream it louder. I can. Will you stop it? Why, Macy? Why are you treating me like this? I have a right to know you're going to tell me. You know why, you bastard. It's because of my mother. You're fooling around with my mother. Oh, CJ. Honey, that's great. Anthony's going to love that. So. Here you are, CJ, just what you ordered, a great big bunch of blue balloons. Great. Yes, great. OK, now, let's see. What do you think? What should we put, an orange one down on the chair? What color should we put down there? Blue. Blue? Again? Why? Because it's Anthony's favorite color. Because <laughs> it's Anthony's favorite color. Oh, even I didn't know that. You're so smart. I'm glad I wore this blue jacket, huh? Okay. Now, I'll tell you what. I want you to go. Take that, darling, oh, would you? Got it. I want you to go into my bedroom, and you're going to find a whole big bunch of blue balloons. I want you to bring them out to me, okay? Come on, scoot. Oh, darling. It's so wonderful the way my little boy loves that man. Oh, look at this. Isn't it sweet? Oh, I <laughs> oh, he is really the father my CJ never had. I know, you know, Anthony feels the same way about him. He does. He loves him like a son. Oh, darling, what a great party this is going to be, huh? <laughs> what do you think he suspects? Anything? No, no, nothing, no. not a chance. No. Well, what do you think he's due back? Anytime now. He said he was going to have a drink with Connor after work, and then he was going to head straight home. Oh, it's going to be so great, isn't it? <laughs> oh, perfect, CJ! Oh, this is the best bunch yet. Let's go right down here, and what do you say? We'll tie them right to this table where Anthony can see them. Isn't this gonna be great? Perfect. You're creating a real work of art here. Mama Maria has taught me such secrets in her kitchen. Rich, how's the fish? Uh, almost ready, almost ready. Mm -hmm. Should I summon the troops? Just give it five minutes. I'm afraid that's gonna be just about their limit. Better make it one minute. Let's go get them now. Well, thank you, Stephanie. I like it too. It's made from belief. Oh, well, that reminds me. At some point or other, I wanna have a talk with you about the company. Sure, you know how to reach me, at home or at work. Or uh, perhaps at Dr. Ward's apartment? Maybe, when he gets back there. How do you feel about him staying here, sir? Oh, I think you know the answer to that one. He's not a bad person. Is that the best that you can say about him? Or is Taylor right? About what? Your display of affection for him. I could imagine what Taylor has to say about that. She thinks it's for Ridge's benefit. And so do I. You don't believe me, that she's using you. I know you mean well, Ted. Don't patronize me, James. You know I hate that. You don't know Brooke as well as I do. I know her infinitely better than you do. She's not as attached to Ridge as you think she is. Well, then you not only don't know her well, you don't know her at all. She will never love anyone but Ridge. You're a doctor of psychiatry, Ted. How can you make such a sweeping statement as that? All right, fine, then I'll amend it. She will stop loving Ridge the day that she has him for her own because that's the kind of woman she is. The only problem is she'll never have him. And so she will always love him. That's right. And once she has me, I'm dead me. All right, fine, you can joke about it, but if you get serious with her, you'll regret it. What alternatives do I have? There are a lot of other women out there, James. No. It's either Brooke, or it's you. Now, which would you prefer it to be?
isn't just me or Brooke. You have more of a choice than that. You're the only two women that I'm interested in. Oh, please don't do this. Do you know what your trouble is, Taylor? You want to have your cake and you want to eat it too. You know I can't have you and now you don't want to have Brooke either. For your own good? No, 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 Taylor. It's not for my own good. It's for your own good. You cannot bear to see me being intimate with Brooke. And you don't understand that? Oh, of course I understand it. But don't say it's for my sake when you know it's not. I find Brooke both charming and delightful. We're a good match. Do we challenge each other? We have similar... Will you just stop it? How can you do this to me? What am I doing to you? You know how I feel about Brooke. You are supposed to be my friend. Now, how can I share my soul with you? How can I share my insecurities about Brooke with you if you are intimate with her? Don't you see the position this puts me in? I'm not doing this to hurt you, Taylor. Are you sure? Are you sure this isn't your way of lashing out at me because I won't leave my husband? Taylor, I never asked you to leave your husband. Nor would I. Do you know what astounds me? That you actually think that I would use Brooke or use anyone to deliberately hurt you. Look, you better get back to the party. James. You would never tell Brooke about what happened between us at the cabin. Oh, good Lord, Taylor. Please, you have got to swear to me that you will never tell her one word. I don't care how close you two become. It has to be our secret, James. I would never tell Brooke or anyone that we made love. Never. And I want you to understand one other thing. What? If you become intimate with Brooke, that will change our relationship. It has to. You cannot be close to both of us. It just won't work. I'm sorry. But that's the way it has to be. Open up, Macy. No, Anthony, go home to my mother. So help me, if you don't open this door, I will break it down. I mean it, Macy. All right, you and I are gonna talk about this. There is nothing to talk about. Yes, there is. Tell me, Anthony, that you're not involved with my mother because I know for a fact that you kissed her at least once. Okay, yes, I kissed her, but that was the day you told me you were staying with Thorne. You remember that day, Macy? Or, or do you want to ask me which day that was because you've done that to me at least four times in the last month? So what? So what, you go home to my mother and you fool around with her? Good God, That's Anthony. not the way it happened. So why don't you tell me how it happened, Anthony? No, don't. Don't, because I don't want to hear it. I don't even want to think about it. No, no, you're going to. You're going to listen to what I have to say because you have no concept, no notion of what's really happening between me and Sally. So you just sit right down here and listen. I am not going to get into an argument with you, Stephanie. I am here tonight because I'm very fond of James, and I'm growing fonder every day. Is he in on this with you? In on what? This masquerade to make uh, Ridge jealous. Are you supposed to make Taylor jealous as well? Dinner time. Mother Brooke, let's eat. Come on over here. Just in the nick of time for you. An excellent meal. Thank you very much. Well, you can credit Ridge for that. Actually, I would like to thank all of you. Stephanie, I know this hasn't been easy on you, but you have been the most gracious hostess. And Eric, you're every bit as charming as I'd heard you are. And Ridge, especially thank you for opening up your home and your friendship. Here's to all of you. 
I have been deeply touched by your generosity. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doctor. Right. Thank you, James. Well, sounds like you're leaving. Well, I do think it's about time that I went back to my own apartment. Really? Do you think it's a little early for that? Mm, no, don't worry about me. I can manage. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I mean, you can barely walk. Aren't you supposed to stay off that leg? No, oh, Rich is right. Don't worry. He will stay off that leg. How are you going to make sure of that? Because he won't be going back to his place. He's moving in with me. All right, this is how it is with me and Sally. Anthony. Macy, please, just listen to me. Now, I don't deny that your mother and I have grown very close. She is a great human being, and I am crazy about her. Her and your brother, CJ. I mean, they, they have accepted me, not just once or twice, but over and over. They've been like a family to me. I mean, they've included me, and I'm good for them, too. CJ needs a good, strong male role model. I give him that. And Sally needs a friend. And Macy, that's what we are, friends. But as special and as important as that relationship with Sally is, it's different than what I have with you or what I want to have with you. Have you said this to Mother? I, I, I've, I've been saying it. But after a while, when you kept brushing me off, I, I stopped talking about you. I just thought it was over. It was hopeless. And I was very vulnerable, and your mother was so warm and comforting and nurturing and God knows she deserves a wonderful man but I'm not that man and don't think by rejecting me you're going to push me closer to Sally because that's not going to happen oh, Macy do you have any idea how much I care for you how much I love you I have never said those words to anyone but you. All right, come on, everybody. Let's get it up. Darla, what are you doing? Uh, Here, just use this. Use this oh, one. Okay, put it on there. Now, come on, we've got to get finished. He's due any minute. In fact, he's already late. <laughs> when is that for me to make it here? Anthony's going to be here any minute, so I want you to help me check out the room. We've got to see if everything's here. The balloons, yes. The presents, yes. The hearts, yes. And the cake, yes. Oh, Sally, the place looks great. Anthony's going to be so surprised. <laughs> oh, I think you will be, Darla. Listen, huh. there's something I want to talk to you about, and I wouldn't say it to anybody else, but you've been so supportive and understanding. Oh, what is it? I'm getting a feeling about Anthony and me, Darla. I'm getting the feeling that something is going to happen between us. It's going to happen soon, maybe even tonight. Really? What is it? Oh, well, you know. You know, you know how well we get along and, and the simple joy we have in just being here together. Like a real family, me and CJ and Anthony. Well, there is only one thing needed to make it perfect, legally perfect, that is. And that would be a marriage proposal. That's what I've been feeling, Darla. I just keep getting that feeling. about this, Sal. No, no, I want it to be a surprise. Yeah, well, maybe Anthony and Connor, you know, went somewhere else together. Where else? You know how it goes. I mean, guys get together, they meet up with friends, and, you know. Friends? Yeah. And they're buddies, Sal. Yeah, I'm not talking about girls or anything. Oh, I know that, honey. I know that. Now, listen, you don't have to treat me like I am some fragile little old lady, you know? 
So, Anthony and Connor went out to have a drink. Maybe they had more than one drink. Why not? It's Anthony's birthday. Cut him some slack, right? Sure. Sure. But I can't help wondering that if they went out, where did they go? And who did they go with? And, uh, no. No, I'm not gonna do this to myself. I promised myself I was not gonna do this, and I'm not. Anthony is gonna come home when he comes home. And it's gonna be soon. Soon. Macy, I'll handle it with Sally. You'll handle this with Mother? Yes. How? I'll go over to the apartment right now. No, 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 Macy, Anthony. Macy, honey, this has to be resolved. Anthony, I don't think you realize how much my mother is emotionally involved with you. Can you hurt her like this? I can't. Listen, I'm not going to be hurting her. Oh, God, I just don't think you're really estimating her feelings for you. Listen to me, I'll deal with Sally. But if I do, if I work it out with your mother, what does that mean? Are you saying that we might have a chance? That you care? That it's been your mother that's kept you from showing that? Is that what's been happening here? Macy, show me what's in your heart. Why do I stand with you? What do we all think of that? James moving in with Brooke. Well, he does need to be looked after. Oh, I'm sure she managed to do that. She'll keep it on the up and up. I'm not so sure. Brooke seems very smitten with James. Brooke can handle herself, I'm sure of that. What do you think of that, Taylor? I think it's a bad idea. She has children over there. Well, whenever there's a divorce, children have to, sooner or later, get used to the idea that their parents are going to see other people. But just to have a strange man move right in? People fall in love, Taylor. Oh, please. They barely even know each other. Oh, come on, you two. What are you talking about love here? James needs a live-in nurse, and Brooke has one. I think it's a very good idea. And I think we should all support it. It's such a beautiful... Beautiful night. Oh, yes, it is. It's quite amazing. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, we both survived our first Forrester barbecue. Uncharred. <laughs> we were fetching, I thought. You certainly were. I love that bombshell you dropped. It took me by surprise, and it certainly caused quite a commotion. What bombshell? The suggestion that I was coming to stay at your place. That wasn't a suggestion. That was an invitation. Preferred sincerely? Oh, yes, of course. Very sincerely. I don't think you should be living alone right now. Oh, Brooke. That's very kind of you, but I, I don't want to impose. You wouldn't be imposing. In fact, the idea kind of excites me. <laughs> well, in that case, I accept your gracious invitation. Thank you. Welcome. It's incredible, isn't it? It's two or something else. I don't trust her, Rich. Listen, my love. Put all your feelings of Brooke aside and uh, give her the benefit of the doubt because this is just what she needs. Maybe just what both of them need. <laughs> 